The Tar Heels will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it out. It's Jordan. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Offense getting set for first down. They think there's room to run to the right here. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Looking left. Makes the grab. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. The give is to Williams. He stopped at the 32-yard line, pick up a five on the play, and it'll be a first down. While the Canes are known for big-time playmakers, tough physical running is part of it, too. Yeah, you got to be able to have a team that not just is about sizzle, and we've seen so many Miami teams about sizzle, but some substance with some physicality, the run game. Off play action on first down. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, the defense may have been caught off guard a little bit on that play. It was second and long. They weren't expecting the run. So now we've got third and manageable, and they've got to be wondering to themselves, is this offense going to try to run the ball again? Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Leaves it with the running back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right hatch. And he missed it. No good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. The offense lining up for a first down play. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He's going to take a shot right away. Makes the grab inside the 30. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. This offense just gets a bolt of energy when they get a play like that. Now they're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Fires to the end zone, and he's going to score. Touchdown, Tar Heels! When you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. <laughs> you just saw it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. 
This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. They'll run it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Give to the running back. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout, so you get tired. Let's it fly! Oh, and it's a pick! He threw it right into the double coverage. Trying to take it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And that's just a force by the quarterback. They're throwing it into cover three. It's a zone coverage, and if you're going to try to throw it deep down the middle, you need another route to occupy the safety and take him away. There was nothing there that time. That's just way too easy of an interception for him. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They'll test the right side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Looking for a man. It's Jordan. Pressure coming. Looking to scramble. Trying to get rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Well, as a quarterback, when you get to the outside, you know you don't have all day to throw it. You've got these defenders. They are coming. They're running at you hard. So you've got to do a better job getting the ball out quicker. That hit forced the incompletion. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. He's looking downfield to throw. <laughs> And he can't escape, and down he goes. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Fourth down, and they've got to get it to the next time zone, but the offense is going to stay on the field on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Unloads it downfield. And the incomplete pass, they roll the dice. Snake eyes. That's a great job there by the defense here early in this game, getting a huge stop, and they've got an opportunity to make the opponent pay. Offense taking over now in great field position. Let's see what they can do here from a play calling standpoint to try to put some points on the board. The give to the back. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And now on second down for this offense. The give is to Williams. And the Canes pick up the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. Here's the handoff. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see all this 
movement in football now. All the stem in the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. They'll give it to the back. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Off the play fake. Going for six. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half. Stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. And the extra point splits the uprights. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. He'll bring it out. It's Jordan. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Offense set on first down. Looking to pass. It's Jordan. He tries to take the top off. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. Man, if you're going to win games, you have got to hit on the home run type plays, and that was a great opportunity right there. The receiver has got to be able to look that football in and make a catch. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. We've got a good one going here in the third quarter, all tied up as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Jordan. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown, UNC! They take the lead with the six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, gets you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest. It's a fake, and the kicker's going to throw it. 
He runs into the end zone on the fake. What a gutsy call to come up with a two-point conversion there. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jordan. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. They'll run play action. Going for the big play. And it's incomplete. Going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Trying to pick up a first down. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Right back to the well. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the Lux. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Now the play fade. Quick strike complete. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. And the Canes are moving quickly down the field. To the air on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. The Hurricanes headed quickly to the line. They're looking to pass from the red zone. He wants it all. And they will score. Touchdown, K. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense, too. If I've got a matchup I like, continue to kick at it until they stop. Why not double the try total and go for two? Snapped it in the shotgun. Trying to get to him. Floating away. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. This is really aggressive here. Still just a one-possession game in the third quarter, and they're going for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. 
Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He'll do it himself. There to make the stop, and we've played three in this one. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here clock continues to run and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it to the air it's Jordan quickly complete now he's got it all the way down to the 21 yard line and they are threatening on first down I think most offensives around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football right or throw it short and try to bleed the clock but this offense man it's still pedal to the metal they're looking for chunk play opportunities and the Tar Heels getting set on first and ten. Defense going to jam these receivers right off the line. They go to the ground. They'll give him maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Give to the running back. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. And a chance, perhaps, to salt this game away if this offense can pay this off with a late touchdown. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, it might be getting a little tough to swallow over there on the other sideline. The play action fake. Buying some time as he moves left. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. It bounds through the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback.
Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself. Nothing but green ahead. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. He wants to throw. And the incomplete pass was just too hot to handle. And the Hurricanes in the hurry up. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. On second down, he'll let it fly. That's reeled in. It's Cooper. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. They'll try to get it through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Jordan. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome. Touchdown, Hurricane! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. You got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. They'll run the option. He'll be stopped short. Still a one-point game here in the fourth. They'd hoped to push this edge out to a field goal, but they were denied. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back looking for help. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ready? North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. And they only need a field goal, and they have to manage the time wisely here. Yeah, I think you want to manage the clock, Reese. Be smart with your timeout situation. Know where to attack, Jesse, on the field right now. Yeah, Jen. He lets one fly deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. Here in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football, and they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best. And that time, they were able to force an incompletion. And back to the air on second down. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Right. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Looking to the big tight end. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. Well, they're trailing in this game late, and the defense knows it, so they're playing for pass. Two plays ago, they get the sack. This time, they force an incompletion. Not a lot the offense can do here to catch them off guard. They're just going to have to make a huge play here on fourth down. Trailing by a possession. They need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Now adjusting. Right down the middle. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You want to talk about building confidence? Coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season.
Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer and David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.